You know, E.T. has been with Bruce for so many milestones during his journey up to this moment. In tonight's big picture, Bruce in his own words. I enjoy trying to be something else. For years and years and years in athletics, I had to control my emotions. I had to depress uh, crying, depress tremendous times of joy, you know, or sorrow. I had to work on that and I had to depress it. And I started crying. I mean, I was, it was, what am I gonna do with the rest of my life? This has consumed my whole life. It was clear Bruce always had an inner struggle. Athlete, celebrity, father, and husband. In 1982, we went inside his home with his second wife, Linda Thompson. Linda, what is it like living with uh, really an all-American hero? He's very down to earth. Um, now that almost sounds like it women. could be boring. I know, but it's not. No, but he's pretty bizarre too. He's a little off the wall from time to time. Yeah, there's something Race going on in there like that. that I don't quite Aww. relate to. After the Olympics, Bruce didn't want to give up the spotlight. He went into acting. For his first film, he chose a big screen disco musical with the village people. It was a flop, but he was determined to succeed. It takes more than a pretty face to get around this town. There's a few athletes that have been able to do it. Make that transition. You know, uh, then you can stay in the business a long time because then you got two things going for you. Hi, I'm Bruce Jenner, and throughout the Olympics, I'll be Entertainment Tonight Special Olympic Correspondent. He reinvented himself as a sportscaster, a celebrity pitchman, and then as the years went by, we started noticing his face began to change, his nose was different, his eyes looked done, his lips softer. Bruce split from Linda in 1986 and then met Chris Kardashian on a blind date. Five and a half months later, they got married. Here's Chris who runs this office. As newlyweds, they invited us into their home. You sit on my lap, on my lap. Okay, I'm gonna come to right over here, and you can sit right there. Bruce and Chris had two daughters of their own, and it was clear Chris was in charge. I am allowed minimal what are you allowed? input, minimal input. Everything I say, she goes the other direction. And this room became, don't, we don't sit on that. Sorry. He knows the rules. Was Chris silencing his true feelings? Was Bruce being sucked into the Kardashian crush? There's just not much you can do it. Weather the storm. You know, I tell him, continue to be the good person that you've always been. And, um, you, know, it's, you know, be a good person. That's the number one thing.